Governor Marsh, uh, concerns about inflation um, has increased rapidly in the last in the last few weeks. Um, the official ECB line is still that the inflation rate will fall below two percent by the end of the year. Um, you have new forecasts on inflation and growth coming up in two weeks. So, what can we expect on that? Do you is do you still um, expect inflation to fall below two percent by the end of the year? And do you think inflation risks are still broadly balanced? Well, uh, we will issue the staff forecast uh, which will be published uh, in one week's time. In the meantime, what we can do is mechanical updates uh, from the last uh, projections. And um, those mechanical updates uh, have been uh, revised continuously upwards uh, since we published them uh, in December. But uh, they still point uh, to the end of the year uh, figures uh, still being uh, below 2%. Now, uh, these are on the basis of uh, assumptions that there will be no uh, feed-through of uh, existing pressures which are in the pipeline. And they are also based on otherwise contained domestic pressures, uh, notably uh, no second round effects from the recent increases in oil prices and other commodity prices on salaries. Whether these uh, assumptions uh, are still valid will be discussed in our next uh, Governing Council meeting and they will then also uh, affect uh, our uh, projections and our assessment on the basis of the new projections uh, for the policy relevant horizon. Your own assessment at the moment, could that language change? Obviously, uh, the present external shock that we experience uh, in the areas of oil prices and other commodities um, and also in general uh, inflationary pressures in emerging markets uh, in my opinion, uh, might warrant that uh, we change our assessment of risks of price inflation, uh, which up to now has been considered as broadly balanced. And uh, I would not be surprised if uh, instead uh, of having a broadly balanced assessment, we would now still see some downward uh, factors, but that the upward pressures would now become overriding and that we change our uh, assessment into upward risks to price inflation, which would need to be monitored very closely and with alertness. And would that, would, fo would a, an adjustment of the monetary policy stance or a correction of the monetary policy stance be, um, you know, the logical conclusion? If the threats would materialize over the policy relevant horizon and if there would be any dangers of inflationary expectations which so far are still anchored would uh, materialize, it is obvious uh, that uh, policy actions uh, would be, uh, become appropriate. But uh, again, at this point in time, uh, this is not yet the case, and that is the reason why we just uh, will have to monitor the situation very closely. And uh, if things uh, deteriorate, uh, we will have to exert uh, high vigilance. The euro area economy is not fully out of the woods yet. Um, there are high expectations for uh, the heads of states getting together in March that they will come up with the, basically the, the silver bullet for the, for the economy. Um, are you satisfied with the progress that is being made and the shape the debate is taking? Well, uh, Basically, I must say that uh, the latest uh, information that we have received concerning uh, the development in the growth uh, side are uh, by and large positive and there seems to be considerable momentum uh, at the beginning of the year uh, in order to have positive developments into the year. The question again is uh, how strong will that momentum be because we still also see downward risk to the economy uh, there will be ongoing uh, balance sheet and needed balance sheet adjustment in different sectors of the economy. 
uh, we will uh, have increased uh, dangers probably in protectionism, uh, we have unresolved uh, problems in uh, global imbalances. Uh, those are some uh, potentially negative effects, but we also see the positive momentum um, in uh, building up of uh, domestic uh, growth, uh, domestic demand, uh, and this uh, might be the case not only on consumption but also on investment, and uh, these are the positive uh, elements.